Good morning, everyone. We are at Mass Audubon, Attleboro Springs in Attleboro, Massachusetts. I think it's been about 10 years since we've been here. It's 64 here on Saturday morning. It was drizzling on the way down, so hopefully it'll clear up. I'm not sure how good this will be for videoing because it's not the best lighting, but let's head on in. Heading into the wetlands. Doesn't look very wet but it is misting on us. Oh, here's some water over here. So now we're on this woodland trail. Lots of roots here. So we're not going to go the La Salette Retreat Center Trail. We're going to keep continuing on the Oak Forest Loop. I'm not sure if the rain is picking up or if it's just coming off the trees. And another boardwalk. I love listening to all the crickets. Sweet pepper bush past its prime. <laughs> I always like late summer, it's almost autumn, when you can find all the berries on the plants. It does a nice little color in the forest when you come across all the berries. This is Fall Solomon Seals berries, They're bright red. These are the berries of Indian cucumber root. Now this is cool, that black mushroom has gone past its prime, and I don't know what either one of these are, but then there's some new mushrooms, these little tiny white ones growing inside. Gotta love all these boardwalks. How beautiful is this? This is staghorn sumac. Absolutely love these red flowers. They're like a plume. There's quite a few of them here. Just love walking into a field and finding all these red flowers. So through the old trails app, we found there's a lot more trails back here. So right here is the end of the Audubon Trail. So we're going to continue out here a ways to check this out. So now we have entered the city of Attleboro Public Conservation Land. The red was all the Mass Audubon land. And you can see that these trails, they keep going and going. Lots of conservation land here to check out. I'm not sure how far we're going to go because the mosquitoes are really nasty today. We're going to attempt to head up to that oak hill. There's all these zigzags that you have to pick as you're walking along. So let's hope we find it. Of course, the camera doesn't show the hill as steep as it is, but this is the oak hill. So let's head on up. So we made it up the hill and up here, is a large water tower. We're gonna go see if there's any view on the other side of that. Boy, is it hazy. So we are definitely on the top of the Oak Hill, and that is the water tower. As I mentioned earlier, it's very dark and hazy. This up here will be a beautiful view when all the foliage starts coming in. I love the sound of the flowing water. Well, that's an interesting name. We're gonna head down the Piggery Path. This is Brothers Pond. We're going to head down the Escar Loop. I don't know if you guys can hear the church bells. We're right next to La Salette Shrine, a beautiful place, but this is a vernal pool. And this is normal for it to dry up. And hopefully all the wood frogs and fairy shrimp and mole salamanders made it. We started the trail out that way. There's a trail going into the left. Now we're going to head out to the meadow. Now we're out at the field. Got some Queen Anne's lace still blooming. And these look like small white asters. What we're finding out here in the conservation area is a lot of those trails that are on the All Trails app are not showing up. As you can tell the dirt bikes have driven through here. Now Chris is good at reading maps, so we're going to investigate a little bit further. This is the first time I have ever seen a peeper. They have an X on their back. So tiny. I can't get in any closer. I actually caught the little peeper. I am so excited. I have heard these my whole life, but I've never seen them. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. There you can clearly see the X on its back. Oh, it's so much fun finding Something that you've never seen before. So I'm going to put them back where I found them. Have a nice, safe, happy life. 
little peeper. A baby wood frog is really, really small. And another wood frog. There's a lot of muddy trails that ATVs and motorcycles have gone through. So this hill brought us down to a school. Obviously these are their soccer fields. After we got down to the bottom, it's all fenced off. So we sort of have to bushwhack it through here. The trail is not right here, but I'm sure we will find it eventually. Look how dark it is for 11 o'clock in the morning. We just finished going through all those bushes and bushwhacking it. And we found out if we came to the end of the field, there was an opening in the fence. Oh well, it's always fun having an adventure. These red berries are from Autumn's Olive, which is an invasive plant, easy to identify. The leaves are green on the top and silvery on the bottom. Here you can see how invasive the Autumn's Olive is. Now we are back on the Mass Audubon land. Not sure what that building is used for. Good morning, Bumblebee. Here's some pretty wild flocks. Look at the size of this pine sap. This is the fourth one I've seen this year. This is so awesome. I've never seen it so big. There's a pretty little red mushroom. Boy, guys, the mosquitoes are nasty out here today, and I did not wear bug spray. Look at that beautiful mushroom. Absolutely love the color. I love the purple mushrooms. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll put it in the video. We've been finding a lot of the coral mushrooms walking through these woodlands. I always love finding these. So here is another coral mushroom. And I'm not sure what this kind of orange beige mushroom is, but this green plant is wintergreen. It smells just like the gum or candy. If you crack the leaf and take a whiff, it smells wonderful. This is a really cool coral mushroom. It's an orangey beige color. We just looked up the name. It is a dog stink horn. Here's the second one that fell over. There's tons of these really pretty mushrooms. And they're with some old rotting out coral mushrooms. I like the colors of these. Here is one earth's tongue. We've been finding lots of chicken of the woods this year. This one's infested with lots of insects and there's some more on the other side. It's such a beautiful color. Here's another tiny little mushroom, this white one. And then the white part pops off and it looks like a little bird's nest. Almost like an acorn, super small. This is a pretty old horn of plenty. I've been finding a bunch of them here. This is white goldenrod. There were just a ton of bumblebees on here. Now there's just a couple. Here is the wintergreen again, but this time it has the berries. Wow, guys, look at all the winterberry. I absolutely love this plant. It's so beautiful. This is chicory. Oh, it's such a pretty light purple plant. This cute little plant is wood sorrel. I love the little yellow flowers. And it's right next to poison ivy. You don't want to mess with that stuff. These are really cool berries, guys. These are white baneberry. And their nickname is doll eyes. Because they look like little doll eyes. This is only the second time I've seen it. Boy, is the lighting bad. But look at that adorable small white aster. That's a nice one. These pretty little berries belong to the Canada Mayflower. These dark purple berries are from Maple Leaf Viburnum. There is a little soldier beetle on the goldenrod. Another happy bumblebee. This pretty pink flower is crown vetch. There is lots of this crown vetch growing here in this field. Hey guys. We just finished our walk. We had a wonderful time. It was really awesome to explore also the Attleboro Conservation Area as well as Attleboro Springs. So a 5.4 mile walk is really good for us. It's very humid today and I'm really overheated. That's why I look like this. But this was just what I needed. I had a really hectic week. I had to have an MRI, which is very difficult for me to do. And in the past, Chris has always been able to come in with me, but due to COVID, they don't let you bring anybody in anymore. And then I also had to have a colonoscopy on Friday and I'm waiting for the biopsy for that. And Chris couldn't go in for that as well. But um, I'm feeling better today. I'm wearing my shirt. This is Hike More, Worry Less, because nature is the best medicine. So we had a wonderful time. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. See you next time. Bye, guys. Oh, I forgot to add, um, as far as the MRI is concerned, they didn't see any lesions or growths. I have arthritis and some type of degenerative back issues going on. 
So my primary said that maybe physical therapy will help me out or a cortisone shot. My oncologist said if the pain keeps persisting, then I will go for a PET scan just to make sure that there isn't anything happening as far as the cancer is concerned. Colonoscopy, they did do a biopsy. It's going to take 10 to 14 days to get the results on that. So I've had three in a row. Um, those are never fun, but I'm glad this week is behind me. So now we're gonna head home and have lunch. Thanks again, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.